Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting tricky algebra problem today. Which one is bigger? On the left hand side 50 to the power 50 and on the right hand side 49 to the power 51. As you can see there is no common like properties between 50 and 49 between powers because we have like even number, odd number, even number, odd number as a base. So it's kind of hard to simplify our right hand side. Yeah, we can simplify a little bit our left hand side, but right hand side is not good because odd number, odd power, it's, it's not good. Yeah. So in this video I'm going to show you a really interesting interesting approach, how can we do this? First of all, let's try to divide left hand side by right hand side. So 50 to the power 50 over 49 to the power 51. Yeah. So if we divide it, we will have like our answer, eh? for example, like a fraction, like two, like 10. So we will have a, like our answer. But it answer this answer tell us really interesting property, because if answer is greater than one, then our numerator will be greater. Yeah, because for example, we have like seven over four, yeah, then our numerator is greater. Or if our answer is less than one, we will have like our denominator is greater. For example, we have like uh, one over nine, yeah. So this is really interesting concept right here. If we divide it and the answer is greater than one, then left hand side is greater, is larger, yeah. And if we divide it as the, if the answer is uh, less than one, so the uh, our left right hand side is greater, yeah. So let's try to, to work with this with this concept. So first of all, how can we simplify this? We have 51. This is a really great power because we have 50. Yeah. So this is close numbers. So we can write this one as 50 to the power 50. So the same. Yeah. But our denominator can be written as 49 to the power 50 plus one. Yeah. So we can write it as 50 plus one. And right now, if you know a little bit about algebra, you know, power rules, you can easily write it as a product. So 49 to the power 50 times 49 to the first power. I write it as as 49, it did not be a mistake. Yeah. So, and right now, take a look, let's group this element, let's group this one. And let's group as a, as a parenthesis because we have the same powers. Or oh, right now, let's, let's write it as 50 to the power 50. And over 49 to the power 50. I write it step by step, we can easily take it in parenthesis, but I want to show you step by step. So over times one over 49. Yeah. And right now we have different bases, but same exponent. So we can easily write it as 50 over 49 to the power 50. Yeah. And times one over 49. Yeah. So I hope you understand this, this step. We write it as one parenthesis. Okay, what we're going to do next, take a look closely 50 over 49. This is really good because we can write it as for example, 49 plus one over 49. And if we divide it by parts, we will have like the next, we'll have a really interesting case, we will have one plus one over 49 to the power 50 and times one over 49. Yeah. So I hope you understand this step. We just divide by parts 49 over 49. This is one and one over 49. Okay, take a look. Right now I'm going to show you a really interesting approach using limits because let's try to create this expression one plus one over n to the power n. Let's try to create this expression right here in this case. As you can see, we have 49 and we have 50. Yeah, so this is close number and we can write this, this 50 as 49 plus one. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's write this one as one plus one over 49 to the power 49 plus one times one over 49. Yeah. So if you know a little bit about powers, we can easily write it as this expression to the power 49 times the same expression to the power one. Yeah. So we will have like one plus one over 49 to the power 49 times one plus one over 49 and times one over 49. Yeah. So we just write this in another way. This is 49 plus one. This is the same as right here. And right now, if you know a little bit about limit, because we have like this expression, if you're talking about the limit, if this n approaches to infinity, so if you have like a limit n approaches to infinity of this expression one plus one over n to the power n, if you're talking about limit, this limit equal to e. And you know a little bit about e because e equal to approximately equal to 2.718, yeah? And a lot of a lot of numbers right here. So this expression is not bigger than this one because this is a limit. Yeah. So we can easily say that this expression is less than three. This is the first and really important step right here. Yeah. And one plus one uh, over 49. This is equal to like 50 over 49. Yeah. 
we can write it as the same as read here and we have this number times 1 over 49. So let's write this kind of weird expression using this inequality right here on the bottom. Yeah, so let's write this expression. So we have the number that is less than 3. Multi we multiply it by 50 over 49. And we have like the number that is 1 over 49. So we have this expression. And let, let's try to say this expression, uh, this product is less than 0, less than 1 or bigger than 1, yeah? So we have two, two cases. It's not equal to 1, I guess. Yeah, because we have like 49, 49, we have denominator, so it's not equal to 1. It's not equal to 1 because this is not the same, of course. And this is bigger or this is less than 1. I'm going to have a really interesting and tricky approach. Take a look closely what I'm going to do. We have numbers in less than 3. We multiply it by 50 over 49 and let's write this 1 over 49 because this is less than 1, yeah? Let's write it as my uh, number that that is less than 1 over 12. Of course we can write it, yeah, because 1 over 49, this number is greater than 1 over 50, 49. This 3 and this 12 we can easily cancel, so right here we have 4. So as a result, take a look closely what numbers we will have as a result. We will have 50 in our numerator, and in our denominator we'll have like 49 times 4, which is equal to 100, 196, yeah, I guess, yeah. 196 and this number is less than 1 so we can easily say that our right hand side is greater than our our left hand side so we can easily write it 50 to the power 50 is less than 49 to the power 51 this is our this is our answer. Kind of weird approach, I guess. A lot of students have a lot of discussion about this, and I hope you understand this explanation. Of course, a lot, there are a lot of approaches, so I hope you understand this explanation as well. And let's try to go step by step real quick. Yeah, if you still have any, if you still have question, I try to get a better focus right here. Yeah, yeah, we can easily say it. Okay, dividing left hand side by right hand side. Step by step, power rule right here, we just separate it, we group it, and as a result we have this expression. And right now this is really interesting approach with the limit, because we can easily create this as a limit, and if you find this limit, this expression is less than 3. So it's it's really it's really interesting, because this expression is less than 3. This is greater than 1, of course, this is less than 1, but it doesn't tell us nothing, because right here we need to find this is uh, greater or less than 1. So this is my explanation right here. This one is greater. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. I try to help everyone. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, for your likes. I really appreciate it if you support my channel. If you write any comment, if you leave a like, it's really, it's really inspiring me to make a new content. Because as you can see, there is no like a big a lot of videos on my channel. I try to post video not day by day, but like day video, day no video, and then day video. So it's kind of hard for me to make video every day. But if you support me a little bit with a like, with a comment, I try to to post video every day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.